What's up guys, in today's video I want to break down my defensive coaching adjustments in Madden 18. My name is Cody and in today's video we're going to talk about my defensive adjustments in Madden 18. If, you're, if, this is, if this is your first time checking out any of my videos, I want to just encourage you to click that subscribe button and I hope that today's video can be helpful in getting you more acquainted and better with defensive adjustments in Madden 18. All right, guys, so adjustments are a big part of the game. And there's a couple of adjustments that I feel like um, on the coaching side of things defensively that I've been able to make that have been really powerful uh, for my uh, defense. The first thing that I do is I go to the read option defense. And what I want what I do is I make the option to conservative. The reason you do this is because that way it's never going to play the running back. It's always going to play the quarterback. You don't have to worry about it. It's automated. And it's done. You don't have to do anything um, further with your defense. The second adjustment that I make that I think is really uh, a good adjustment to make is on the corner, on the secondaries, it's automated to always play the ball instead of to swat the ball. And there's a couple of different trains of thoughts here. If you're playing a player who has a better receiving core than you have a defensive core, then you might consider putting that on the swap ball mechanic. But if you feel like your corners are good, strong, confident corners, then I would recommend placing that on uh, aggressive or what or whatever, play the ball, play, play receiver. Because the reason is, if you play ball, it's going to give you more interceptions. So here's a couple. Here's another look at my coaching adjustments real quick here. So auto flip, I put off. That's for my blitzes. Ball and air, I have play ball. Cornerback matchups is balance. Option defense is conservative. Pass rush is aggressive. Strip ball, you want to put that on conservative. And then tackling, I can't quite figure out if I want to leave that on balance or if I want to uh, put that on conservative. And the reason being is because if you put pass rush on, or not pass rush, but if you put the tackling mechanic on conservative, then oftentimes you have a, a much better advantage. There you see this Michael Irvin, by the way, this card, this specific card is really effective. The tackling mechanic, so strip ball, you want to have that on, con on conservative, but tackling, and I've experimented with this a little bit, I would experiment with aggressive and see what you think. What it's going to do is it's going to give you more hit sticks. The I have not seen the drop off because what they'll say is, well, if you go for more hit sticks, then you're going to have... A little bit of a drop off on the side of do my guys actually make tackles or will there be more, more broken tackles my opinion my opinion is that if you leave it on aggressive you're you're not gonna they're not gonna break more tackles that's just what I've experienced but again if you guys have experienced different things and go ahead and go with your gut I just wanted to show you mine and then real quick before we get out of here I will show you my offensive coaching adjustments which aren't as uh, which aren't as uh, detailed oriented so basically what I do, ball carry, if you don't want to ever fumble, then put them, on, put them on conservative. If you have someone that, if you put it on aggressive though, this is something that's actually been interesting that I've experimented with, is if you put the ball carrier trait on aggressive, they break significantly more tackles. So in situations where, you know, you may need a specific, you may have a specific situation where you just need, you know, one or two yards, but you'll see... You'll see on this first drive, if you put them on aggressive, they, they, they do break more tackles. The problem is they do fumble. So if you don't want to fumble, okay, you could put them on conservative, but you won't break very many tackles through the computer. Now, you can break it through the juke. You can break it through the spin moves, but you won't exactly break it through computer-generated break tackle animations, unfortunately. So there's a couple things that you, you know, there's there's a couple pros and cons with it, to be honest. Um I, I, as far as the receiver, intermediate pass catching and all that, I don't mess with that. Blocking, I found to have a significant amount of holding penalties when I put it on aggressive. So I would steer clear of that as well. Um, if I were you, the offensive settings are definitely not as important, in my opinion, as the defensive settings. And here you'll see um, Jarrett McKinnon just not getting good break tackle animations right now. But a lot of people, and I, I do this too from time to time, if I really don't want to fumble, for whatever reason, I'll put, I put my player on conservative. Um, I, I have experienced, basically, you'll, it'll amount to about one fumble a game if you put them on aggressive. If you put them on aggressive, you're going to fumble the ball at least once a game. 
if you put them on balanced, then there's a chance you'll fumble. It's really if they get a big hit stick on you. So you can, it's kind of like just standard Madden, you know, of old, if, if you do that. But here you'll see, uh, you'll also fall forward more if you're on aggressive. But anyways, guys, those are the settings that I recommend. Again, offensively, I would say just leave everything on balanced as a general rule of thumb. And then based on the situation, put him on aggressive or conservative. If you guys like this video, then do me a favor and just hit the subscribe button. Um, that way you can get access to more of my content and, uh, and hopefully it can help you uh, become better players.